Coram Deo is that it's homeschooling or partial homeschooling. It really isn't homeschooling. It's they school at the school and then you have a set study plan, which is your homework for the day when you're at home. Yeah. So yeah. you don't have to be an educator at home. You don't have to develop curriculum. You're just following the plan that they laid out for you and helping your kids get through the, the homework study portion for that day. And it's awesome because uh, Connor and Catherine now know that learning doesn't have to take place sitting in a chair behind a desk. Which leads me to the two primary reasons I think that I, I wanted the kids to go to Coram Dale. Number one was the public school methodology of least common denominator. So it's not taught to the highest level and allowing the highest level kids to exceed until you get to high school and advanced placement. It's raising everybody up to this bottom bar to get that exemplary status or whatever, but it's still that bottom bar that it's taught to, not the top bar. In this environment, either at the school or through what you can do at home, it allows you to let your child exceed to his maximum ability. And the second thing at the public schools that we were seeing in the you know, second, third grade when they started is the exclusion of, of parents and involvement in education. And it, it was almost, uh, I guess, a conflict when you tried to get more information out of the instructors and you could not be a part of their education in the school. And that's, uh, through this, we know what they're learning, we can participate in it, and we can reinforce it It's a partnership. It is a partnership with the teachers, yet what a joy um, to be able to look at Connor or Catherine on a home day that, let's say they're kind of tired and sluggish and they're maybe having a hard time getting through some of their assignments. I'm able to look at both of them and say, well, Honey, you've got to hand this in tomorrow at school. I mean, there's a teacher that you're accountable to. It is a solid partnership, yet I as a parent love that I can defer to the teacher when I need to, use her as the leverage. Um, so there's still a little bit of a hierarchy there. Um, it's, it's, it's awesome. It just is. And, and the way that, that they're understanding going back to a point I was making before, learning doesn't have to take place sitting in a hard chair behind a hard desk. On our home days when it's pretty, we take a card table, we put it out on the driveway, um, we have a gazebo in the park across the street, we'll go and do assignments up there, we'll go and lay on the trampoline and read. Um, if they have a creative writing assignment, I'll send Catherine up into the playhouse that's kind of up in the trees. I mean, Talk about a creative environment for her to be functioning in. So it shows them that, that learning just doesn't have to take place in a box. That, that you can be learning and studying in uh, fun locations and, and that you can get your required assignments done within a few hours at home and you're free for the rest of the day. So it's, we can explore the other activities like dance and art and tennis yeah. that we do outside of school and do them during the day as opposed yes. to after a eight hour school day when they're right. wiped out and they can't function or, or focus, they can they can enjoy those extracurricular And we'll activities. show up, we'll show up at dance or tennis late in the day and Connor and Catherine have already completed all of their work. They've already had playtime. They show up, they're energized. They have fun, and then we get to go home, come home, have an evening, and they go to bed. They don't do homework at night. I mean, their work is already done. They're not having to face that music in the evenings. Now, that may change when they get into logic school or the high school. Uh, but for grammar school, it's, it's great not to have to be doing homework at 8 or 9 o'clock at night.